on this day, the 12th of October, 1492, the Americas were discovered. Imagine, if you will, being one of those 90 men upon one of those three ships. Five weeks sailing. For what? You do not know. We all know the world is round. Sailors know it. The educated know it. Columbus knows it. We just don't know where Asia is. So we are hoping that it's as close as Columbus thinks it is. Five weeks though. You're one of the crew. You've seen the storms, the rain, the sun. And this guy isn't one, isn't your captain. There's a bit of resentment between you, your guys, and Columbus's guys. And you're now wondering, are we going to just die out here in the middle of the sea? But on the 7th of October, you see birds, great flocks of them. And your heart jumps with joy. Oh my god, there must be land nearby. You're ordered to follow the flocks. There must be land over there. Days go by. No sight, but there are some lights somewhere in the distance. Where are they coming from? What are they? But you never never find out. Maybe you're seeing things. The vastness of the ocean goes on and on. On the night, night of the 11th of October, more lights in the distance. And there's this feeling something's changing and in the dawn land ho people start screaming and jumping for joy they've survived they have found the indies of the east Now they didn't actually find the Indies, and they weren't to know that for a while, a few, a decade or more, but they had found the Americas, a new world, a new beginning for Spain, eventually for Portugal, for much of Europe. A new age was about to begin, something that no one could really understand at that point. Those 90 men could not have known just how important their discovery was. And they didn't even realize they had made a discovery. They thought they'd just found a trade route to the east. And they, the locals looked foreign. They looked different. So obviously they must be from Asia. How are they supposed to know? They must be Indian. And Columbus always stubbornly believed that he had found the Indies. He refused to admit, I don't know why, Surely it's better to have found something new and fresh and unexplored than just finding a trade route. And 
and so the Americas had been found. Now they had been obviously visited by the Vikings many, many centuries before, about five, six hundred years. The Vikings, I don't think, had understood what they found. They assumed it was just some cold lands like Iceland and Greenland, more iciness. And the stories of Leif Erikson were lost for many years. It was only after Columbus's discovery of America that people were able to dig up Leif Erikson's sagas again and understand what he did. And later on, archaeologists managed to find the old settlements in Newfoundland. But it was only because of the discovery that Columbus had made that people started looking into this. We all remember the Santa Maria, the Pinta, and the Nina. We remember the great story, the great adventure of Columbus finding America, meeting the king and the queen in Spain just after they had conquered Granada, finished the Reconquista, and suddenly Spain went from reconquering itself to conquering half the world. We remember the story of Isabella and Ferdinand sending him off to find the Americas. Although it's now become a little bit controversial. So many people now decided, have decided that Columbus is a big, horrible, racist boogeyman. That the whole concept of Europe going to America is evil and wrong. And I would say that's a load of all nonsense. Every civilization, every growing civilization will grow, will expand, will conquer, and will rule. That's what Spain did. That's what Portugal did. That's what the Dutch did, and the English, and the French. Anyone who could went to the Americas to take a little bit of what they land or an island here or an island there, a river valley, a stretch of land, a colony. It's what normal countries do. To be ashamed of it or to be looking down on it I think is a bit pathetic. The same people don't complain about Russia's expans expansion into Siberia. They don't complain about China's expansion into Tibet and Xinjiang. They don't complain about the Iranian Empire's expansion into what is now the stands in the so ex-Soviet Union or into the Mesopotamian Valley. They only complain about European powers expanding, Western European powers expanding. They've lost sight of the adventure that it was, of the greatness that came out of it alongside the adventure was the establishment of the modern world the scientific revolution the revolution in thought the revolution in government and governance none of this would have happened if we just stayed insular stayed in our own places and had never done anything going places Exploring things, discovering things, changes you, many times for the better. And this is what's happened when Europe came to the Americas. So on this day, the 12th of October, 1492, Columbus and his band of 90 men aboard three ships discovered the Americas. Come back tomorrow for more. <laughs>